Hi there, welcome to the English class. Today we are going to look into Unit 1, Reading A. Attitude is altitude. What is altitude? Something that rises high. Now, what gives you altitude? Is it your height? Is it your status in society? No. Attitude is altitude. Attitude, your response to situations in your life, both good or bad, is what makes you rise high in life. Many famous personalities are a perfect example of this. Today, that's what we're going to do. We are going to look into the lives of these great people and learn what is the right attitude and how to rise high in life, how to achieve success. Let's be more. So the aims and objectives of this chapter, what are we going to learn today? What is the right attitude? Life sometimes throws lemons at you and they say that's the time you should make lemonade. So what is the right attitude? Take whatever comes to you and respond to it in the right way. How? We will look into it soon. How important are looks? Beauty is not important. All that's important is for you to stay groomed and be presentable. Do not run after beauty. How important is our perception of ourselves? Always remember, we are what? because of our parents. We look like them. We have their genes inside us. So you have to make the best of it. What you feel about yourself is very important in building a good and healthy personality. Never look down upon yourself. Always see the bright side of you. And finally, what brings success into our life? What is success? The right attitude combined with the right perception of yourself will bring success into your life. And do not forget perseverance. This word means not giving up. You fail, you get up again, pull up your socks and do it again or do it in a better way. So to persevere, it's very important to achieve success in our lives. Who do we have here? First, to start with our very own Sudha Chandran. She was a budding dancer, but life threw a lemon at her. She lost her right leg in an accident. Imagine a dancer's dreams crushed when you lose an entire leg, but that did not stop her. She put on an artificial Jaipur leg and went ahead to become an accomplished Bharatnatyam dancer, giving innumerable shows. She is also a TV and, uh, and theater artist. Stephen Hawking. He was diagnosed with a motor neuron disease at the age of 21. A bright physics student in college. Imagine how he must have felt when he came to know that day by day his entire body is going to paralyze from head to toe. Within 10 years, completely paralyzed, unable to even speak. But that did not deter him. He went ahead and became the world's most renowned physicist, cosmologist, who explained the entire black hole of space to this generation. Do make it a point to read his book. Now meet Madam Hella Keller, blind, almost deaf, but she is a renowned author, lecturer, and a political activist. She would often joke and say that though I'm blind, I can see much more than you people who have eyes. So if you see these people, you see the right attitude in them. Problems in life, adversities, that is unpleasant happenings in our life, it did not bother them. It did not stop them. They picked themselves up from where they were and they continued and also reached successful heights. Yes? So let's look at some more of them. May I introduce one of the most sought after motivational speaker, Nick Vujic. Put your hands together and give him a standing ovation. But imagine if you did not have hands to clap for him, or you did not have legs 
to stand up and give him a standing ovation or imagine both of them at the same time. Yes, that is Nick Vujicic. He was born without arms, without legs, just a head and a torso. Normally, a person like that would be called a cripple, a person who is disabled and who is unable to perform functions like a regular person. But you know what Nick Vujicic says? I was never crippled until I lost hope. He said, it's okay, I don't have hands and legs. But the day I lost hope that I can do something special, that was the day I felt like a cripple. Let's learn so much more about this amazing person. Nick Wichich and his drumstick, what is that? As I told you, Nick was born without arms, legs, just a head and a torso, but he had a tiny foot attached to his left hip. With the help of that foot, Nick Vujicic can run, play football, he can swim, he's a good surfer, water sports are his favorite, and the English Premier League, the football games, captivate him. So, Nick has a small foot on his left hip, which helps him balance and enables him to kick. He uses this one foot to type, to write with the pen and pick up things between his toes. I call it my chicken drumstick, jokes Nick. Nick was born in Melbourne, Australia in 1982. Waiting for the right person. Now what's that? Nick is an evangelist. That means a person who has found miracles in the religion of Christianity. A person who has such strong beliefs in Christianity that they preach to the world the wonders of the Christian religion. So Nick was very particular about choosing his life partner. He was waiting for the right person. What does waiting for the right person mean? That means Finding a person who accepts you the way you are, both good things and bad things. A person who stands by you, supports you and helps you fulfill your dreams alongside their dreams. So back then, Nick, he would love to get married and start a family, but he's waiting for the right girl to come along was what his friend said. Today's time, Nick is happily married and he has Four lovely kids. One excellent quote by Nick Vujicic, if you can't get a miracle, become one. What he's saying, do not wait for someone to come into your life, to hold your hand and to show you the path and bring success into your lap. Don't do that. Do it to yourself. You be the miracle your body wants. Yes? You should find success. You should find the path to reach successful heights. Why a special school? Now what is this? When Nick Vujicic was born, the moment his father looked at him, he was aghast to see a baby born without arms or legs. He rushed out of the hospital room to throw up. And Nick's mother, she couldn't get herself to hold her baby for four months. They kept questioning themselves, what is it that we did wrong? And they asked the doctors, what is it that went wrong? Why is our baby like this? And the doctor said, your baby suffers a congenital disorder called phocomelia. In this disorder, it affects the size of the limbs of the baby. Now that was very unlucky. But Nick's parents, his mother was a nurse and his father was a computer programmer and accountant. What did they think? They made up their mind that their son is going to live and grow just like any normal kid in this world. They made it a point to make him strong and independent. So what did Nick's father do? At the tender age of 18 months, he took him and taught him swimming. He also taught them how to type on the computer with the tiny toes that he had. And his mother made a special device which helped Nick to pick up a pencil and write with it. 
So now Nick was ready to go to school. And here his parents thought, why should we send him to a special school? Usually a special school is a place where children who are blind, deaf, mute or physically disabled, they go to special schools where they are given extra care and attention and they are helped in, to learn new things in a different way. But Nick's parents did not want him to go to a special school. They sent him to a regular school just like other kids where Nick would become more stronger and independent. So that was about Nick as of now. There's much more to know about him, his journey, his depression, how he overcame it, and how he reached the success that he is experiencing today. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.